On a hot summer day, swimming in the cold, clear springs is a rite of passage in Florida. For Crystal River, and many small towns just like it, the springs are more than recreational fun. They're a way of life. The town of Crystal River sits along the western coast of Florida, about an hour north of Tampa. It's not as well known as Orlando or Miami, but people come from all over the world to visit. That's because Crystal River and Kings Bay Springs are where these gentle creatures come to stay for the winter. Manatees need warm water and because the bay is spring-fed, it's a constant 72 degrees. When it turns cold outside, you'll find more than 600 manatees gathered here, including nursing moms and their young calves. All kinds of turtles, fish, birds, and other water creatures keep the manatees company and live here year round. This part of Florida is a little slice of paradise, or at least it was, until a dangerous invader moved in. This is Lingbia. You may not know the name, but if you've been to one of Florida's springs lately, you've probably seen it, or touched it, or even smelled it. Lingbia is a type of algae that's thriving in our waters. Some people say it looks like dark, tangled hair. It's slimy to the touch, and it grows in thick, dense mats. Lingbia is an invasive plant, and it grows well without a lot of sunlight. When it begins to grow, it crowds out other plants and sea grasses the very grasses that manatees and other wildlife depend on for food. Lingbia mats are clogging up the springs and reducing the amount of water flowing into the bay. And with so much Lingbia growing unchecked, there's less oxygen in the water. And fish, shellfish, and crabs have no place to call home. Lingbia is an invasive, opportunistic algae that has taken over Kings Bay and its ecosystem. One of the biggest problems with Lingbia is that during the decomposition process, it sucks oxygen out of the water. And the oxygen is what the fish need and the other animals need to survive. But there is light at the end of the tunnel. A new breakthrough program has been developed to get rid of Lingbia for good. Managed by a community group called Save Crystal River, the pilot program is being tested in Kings Bay. Floating barges with special vacuum pumps are sucking up the lingbia from the canals that feed the bay. The material is pumped through vacuum tubes into what's called a mechanical separator located on shore. The water is separated from the lingbia, then triple filtered and returned clean to the spring. What's left, mountains of lingbia, is dried, then taken away to be used as an organic supplement for soil. The lingbia is being removed. But what's to prevent it from returning? Do native plants have a chance of thriving again? Will the springs ever return to their crystal clear best? What we need is a little rock star.